Nearly 400 Columbia Public School students are currently in quarantine because of either a positive COVID-19 test or an exposure. Thanks for choosing us at 5. I'm Zach Boweto. My co-anchor Deborah is on assignment. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon is live after looking into what's causing these numbers at CPS. Hannah, you spoke with a parent whose child is currently in quarantine. Yes, Zach, we just now got new numbers on students out due to COVID-19. The parent I spoke with today said she supports masking and other efforts, but doesn't understand why it wasn't enough to keep her daughter from being quarantined. She needs to be with her buds. She needs to be running and playing and doing what she's doing, and she can't. Trisha Patchett and her second grade daughter Jenna are at home. Jenna has to quarantine for 10 days because a classmate exposed her to COVID-19. I thought that since they had masks on, it was going to cut down from having to quarantine um, as much. Um, the more I hear, uh, that's not going to happen. Patchett is confused because Columbia Public Schools re-entry plan says quarantining is not required for students who are correctly using masks. The CPS dashboard shows there are currently 460 students at home because of COVID-19. Of those, only 68 have tested positive. The rest are students who have been exposed through their classmates. Yaboon Public Health told me there has been an increase in COVID cases among people under 18 since school has started, but the majority is still from working aged people. Just like what we uh, recommend to the rest of the community is making sure you're using as many of those risk mitigation efforts as possible. Patchett is asking the school to come up with a solution that won't pull so many kids away from the classroom. Got to come up with a solution that's going to work here because she needs to be in school. She's not sick. Join me again at 6 when I'll go more into CPS's COVID, COVID quarantine protocols. Reporting live from Columbia, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. Hannah Falcon, thank you. A CPS spokesperson tells us the current quarantine protocols were revised earlier this summer, and all of those protocols can be found on the CPS website.